Hello, everyone, and welcome to another edition of Through Conversations podcast. In this episode, I am speaking solo. This is the first time I do this on my own. I'm looking forward to it. I'm excited to share my ideas on several topics that I've been thinking about, that I've been researching on, and I want to share my ideas with you. I want to see what you think. So please comment your thoughts on YouTube, rate this show on Apple Podcasts or on Spotify, share it with a loved one. Tell me what you think about this new series that I will be doing. It will be an added feature for the podcast. I will still be doing interviews with Brilliant Minds. Actually, the lineup that I have for the next couple of weeks is pretty amazing. I will start releasing the episodes soon and I will start showing, I will start revealing the guests that I will be having on. But today I want to discuss a topic that everyone's been discussing for the past months, few months, everyone's been very hyped about artificial intelligence, including myself. So I wanted to take the time to have a little pause on the hype and start to see the darker side of artificial intelligence. And I wanted to bring a conversation that would take all of the excitement from the equation and have a discussion on the potential downfallings that artificial intelligence can have and the dangers that it will pose for a lot of us. So in this episode, I'm inviting you and everyone listening to have a very sensible conversation about the future of artificial intelligence. I know everyone, including myself, is very excited about the prospects that artificial intelligence can bring in terms of productivity, in terms of efficiency, and in terms of ability to innovate and to create perfect systems, which I will be discussing later on. However, These technologies, without any checks and balances, can have the potential to unlock a Pandora's box of risks to individuals as well as nation states. Right now, it's very tangible, this sense of excitement that we have and the hype around all of the benefits that AI will bring to so many in such a short period of time. Every single vertical that artificial intelligence is tackling, from image-generated art to a single prompt with five sentences or shorter that will be plugged in into ChatGPT and will be able to create a 60,000 page book is really exciting. And from software being built from scratch to automated customer service that you can plug in your website, which will automate customer service and create a seamless experience for anyone visiting your site. From medicine, to even energy efficiency. Having automated systems that learn as time passes and learn very fast is really exciting. But at the same time, smart people with bad intentions will have access to these technologies, meaning they will be able to use new software that's being built, such as clone recording AI to clone any voice in the internet or your voice right now if you want to use the software and ask for serious things such as ransom or even extortion, extorting close ones, family, and pretending someone is being kidnapped or even a deep fake of yourself or someone else saying something dangerous, which has been happening a lot with celebrities. Hello. Today, I'm going to be talking to you about a new technology that's affecting famous people. Remember when Obama called Trump a dipshit? Complete dipshit. Or the time Kim Kardashian rapped? Because I'm always half naked. Or when Arnold Schwarzenegger impersonated himself? Get out of this, it's a bombing deal. Get out! (laughs) Deep fake? Deep fake? Deep fake? Gotta be kidding. This is a deep fake too. I'm not Adele, but I am an expert in online manipulation. A lot of celebrities are being built into these deep fakes saying some stuff, violent stuff or harmful stuff that is really very hard to distinguish between true and false or AI and not AI. And these violent messages can be directed towards dividing people. These are not far-fetched ideas. The idea that deep fakes could lead to crimes like extortion and terrorism is truly terrifying. Think about it for a second. How will a regular person be able to distinguish between an AI-built voice of yourself and your true self. You might say, well, 
AI still has some glitches that reveal it's fake. There are a lot of images right now that have been built by AI that show little errors, you know, a hand being placed in a weird spot or the background looking a bit off. This is true, but let me show you something. Let me show you this video done by Green Skull AI. I will put his link in the notes below for his YouTube page, where he uses this new software built by an AI that clones your, the, your voice to perfection. And I would like to hear if you were able to distinguish his voice with a voice generated by an AI. And please comment and share your thoughts with me. This is pretty freaky. I got invited to check out Eleven Labs voice cloning. I just talked about how I used to skateboard as a kid, just running off for like two minutes. I uploaded it to the site and now let's type something. Hey, what's up, YouTube? Hey, what's up, YouTube? I'm here just hanging out, trying out this new AI tool. It's pretty cool. Terrifying. Now, I haven't even played with this. I can change stability because where I've seen this so far hasn't killed it for me. Is I have a very variable voice. I have a lot of expression in my voice. It has the tone right. Maybe if I make it really variable. Hey, what's up, YouTube? Uh, I'm here just hanging out, trying out this new AI tool. It's pretty cool. No! No! It added an ah in there, too. It's pretty cool. Like, the future is scary, dude. How terrifying was that? It's really insane. And this is not the only vertical. Experts estimate that artificial intelligence will create an overall explosion of cyber attacks that are very highly targeted and have a full potential to disrupt entire nations, disabling our power grids, to even hacking small business owners and taking away all the funds they have in a fraction of seconds. And what about risks for individuals and their own savings? How will banks be able to distinguish between yourself and an AI when a scammer calls them and asks to retrieve all funds using your voice, quote unquote. The odds of your voice being on the internet right now are substantially high, meaning anyone can retrieve your voice and they can use it to access your information, your credit card information, your bank account. Isn't this a really easy business model for criminals? And now that the price and the the price of using AI is dropping massively, this is very, very possible. We need to have a serious conversation about this as a society. And we need big companies to start investing in AI for protection now. They need to start using these technologies themselves to protect from mal-intentioned actors. Another possible solution, the way I see it, has to do with what ChatGPT just started doing. They created a watermark that shows, reveals if some content was done by an AI or by ChatGPT or organically was done without any help from AI, which will be very useful for a lot of parts in our society. You know, teachers will be able to distinguish between an essay being built by AI or being built organically by the student. And right now, we still have a feeling that something was done, was built by a human or by a robot. But the trend is moving exponentially fast. Imagine how the world will look like by the end of this year. And I can't even imagine how it will look like in five years. And you might be thinking now that this has to make us frightened, but this is not the message of, this is not the purpose of this episode. This message is to start thinking about the aftershock of the hype of artificial intelligence. I'm very excited about the use of these technologies, but at the same time, I'm conscientious about it bringing to light darker aspects of our humanity. The blurred line between AI and creativity and human endeavors and technological outcomes will be almost invisible, which brings me to my second idea. The clash of art versus output. We have been obsessed with the, this idea of productivity, of efficiency, of building systems that enhance our ability to maximize our output. But that, in and of itself, removes a human sense from the equation. It removes what life is truly all about. Imperfection, mistakes, improvement from those mistakes, learning from what errors we did in the past. Our obsession to maximize productivity has brought us to build AI, 
which one can argue will be able to reach perfection. In fact, Ray Kurzweil projects that by 2029, computers will achieve human intelligence. And as Ray suggests, by 2040, we will reach the singularity. And probably many of our systems will reach perfection. This is great in many fields, including medicine, including energy, including nutrition. Do we not want to have perfect medicine and perfect healthcare systems? All of us want that. So perfection in these systems is very enticing. I just hope we don't forget that the true wisdom in other aspects of our life come from perfection, like writing our own essays in college or in high school, which is very boring, can be very boring, but reveals our thought process. It enhances our ability to think critically, which can also be affected by AI. All of the information imagine that we receive now is being delivered by, by a perfect machine. Will we even question it? Right now, very few people question what they read on Twitter. So do we really think this will change for the better with artificial intelligence? Let's go back to problem number one, AI used by bad actors. Imagine AI being built to deliver misinformation massively to hundreds of millions of people in seconds and information that will be very precise and very believable. We won't be able to distinguish between what's true and what's false. Even now, like I mentioned on Twitter, it's very hard to see who's a real person and who's not a real person. So this challenge needs to be faced head on by all of us who are truly hyped about the potential of artificial intelligence. Probably since you're watching this video or you're listening up until now, which I appreciate, you're hyped by AI and you probably have begun to use it or explore it either by creating your own art or by solving an essay or, or by trying to write an essay, trying to create a prompt or by trying to solve a piece of a puzzle, which can be even creating a business plan from scratch. All of this is great, truly. But as Carl Jung said, the brighter the light, the longer and deeper the shadow. These technologies will also increase the contrast between good and evil and the capabilities of doing bad things in a very short period of time. And this will reach exponential velocity. So this video, this podcast is really a call to action for all of us to have a serious discussion on how we can pay closer attention and start thinking about what kinds of mechanisms, regulations we have to build with artificial intelligence before the bad actors really have in their hands a weapon that can dismantle a whole nation and can take away all the savings of a working class citizen. We've never been so dependent on our technologies as we are today. Every single bank account is connected to the internet. Every single data information that you may have right now is probably on the internet. And do we really not expect artificial intelligence be used to take advantage of this? Are we seriously not expecting artificial intelligence to be used to create bad outcomes for good people? I bet most of you would say that's a pretty reasonable idea. So let's not make the same mistakes as we did with social media platforms and like we did with all of these healthcare companies and like we did with all of these insurance companies where we signed off their terms and conditions and they were able to sell all of our information, sensible information, private information to third parties that were used to create databases with all of our information and they sell them to marketing agencies, insurance companies, or even to third parties which we don't know what they're doing with our information so they can charge and, they, and even our insurance companies can charge higher premiums for our healthcare. This is just one example. So let's not make the same mistake with the last version of the internet when we were just making it up as we went instead of building a strong, reliable foundation that can be built based on integrity, transparency, and one that protects the individual while enhancing the positive disrupting force of this technology. Because at the end of the day, if we want positivity to flourish out of artificial intelligence, we need to stop being so naive about the potential dangers of it. It is time to understand that even though these technologies are truly impactful and are really empowering, they too pose a risk that we have to take seriously. Thank you for watching. 